On today's episode, decarbonizing chemical production with CO2 sequestration. Today's episode is brought to you by engineering.com, a globally trusted source for engineering content. Check out this and many other exclusive videos for the engineering professional found only on engineering.com TV today. In the global shift to move the world's industrial economies toward zero CO2 emissions, there are many carbon sources to be addressed. Now fossil fuel consumption is one, but so are the many industrial processes that are essential for modern society. The process industries use chemical feedstocks, of which many are very energy intensive to produce, but can't be readily replaced by alternates. Some of those chemicals can themselves be used to display CO2 producing inputs, but the overall carbon balance has to be considered before switching to non-fossil fuel sources that may themselves have a heavy CO2 footprint. CF Industries, a large global manufacturer of hydrogen and nitrogen products, has entered into the largest of its kind commercial agreement with ExxonMobil to capture and permanently store up to 2 million metric tons of CO2 emissions annually from the company's manufacturing complex in Louisiana. CF will build a $200 million CO2 dehydration and compression unit at its Donaldsville, Louisiana facility, and ExxonMobil will then pipe and permanently store the captured CO2 in a secure geologic storage complex the oil company owns in Vermilion Parish. ExxonMobil has signed an agreement with NLINK Midstream to use NLINK's pipeline network to deliver CO2 to that permanent geologic storage. The 2 million metric tons of emissions captured annually will be equivalent to the CO2 output of approximately 700,000 gasoline-powered cars. CF Industries will use the system to scale up production of blue ammonia to put it at 1,700,000 tons annually. The volume is significant, and the technology is important because ammonia is an essential industrial commodity used in fertilizers, pesticides, plastics, dyes, and other industrial chemicals. Ammonia can also be burned as a fossil fuel replacement with no CO2 emissions. While the CO2 reduction is itself good for the environment, the economic benefits have far-reaching implications. Both ExxonMobil and NLINK Midstream are companies that rely on the fossil fuel industry, and CO2 sequestration represents a way for companies in this sector to use existing infrastructure and technology in a future where fossil fuel demand is expected to fall significantly. Similarly, low-cost blue ammonia represents a carbon-free alternate fuel that can replace fossil fuels without extensive re-engineering of industrial processes, in many cases particularly in the process industries. Diesel engines can also be configured to run on ammonia. Will carbon sequestration technology make ammonia the fuel of the future? Vartzilla, a maker of very large diesels for marine use, has tested ammonia with good results, and the China Machinery Engineering Corporation is developing a green ammonia production process powered by solar energy, so the use cases for green and blue ammonia appear to be in place. Whether or not ammonia makes sense as a fuel, 80% of global production goes into fertilizers, production of which cannot be curtailed for CO2 reduction reasons alone. Blue ammonia looks like a good alternative, and the Louisiana project will be a testing ground for the economic viability of CO2 sequestration in the American chemical industry. Well, well that's it for today's episode of This Week in Engineering, brought to you by Engineering.com. For our deeper engineering series, visit Engineering.com TV for exclusive shows like Manufacturing the Future and Designing the Future, not found on our YouTube channel. The links are in the description below. Thanks for watching.